what up how's it going so last episode we had everybody dealing with their stuff you know the fallout of chris getting popped and then we had the dude who did it he got taken out right but the thing that it led to was tony and pussy talking him I, what's gonna happen with pussy i feel like he's gonna die he has to die at some point but i mean when and what all is going to take place and who is he going to take down before then right let's go ahead and start this next episode no. and the other man unfortunately i didn't get a good look at him the light was reflecting off the windshield but uh he was heavy set it was really dark i didn't want them to see me this man is a high quality I snitch shots, but I, I thought it was kids with firecrackers and then when two men drove out in a car i crouched down in the ragweed thank you mr arthur so goddamn fed up with crime <laughs> I'd hate myself if I didn't come forward and help put these people behind bars. Thanks I'm so to people fed like up you, with pride. We may just do that. May I ask who the dead man was? Just a poor kid got hooked up with the wrong crowd. Crack? Something like that. The man said crack. I mean, no. God damn, Tony. Mommy! I can't turn my back for a minute. I know what that's like. My little guy was a real cadet at his age. <laughs> Fucking Dick Barone. Well, as long as the two of you are happy. Charging me twice as much as everybody else to tip my trucks at his place. So you pay the tonnage and you charge your townships a little extra for the pickup. That's all. You've got the smallest amount of roots of anybody in the association. Your brother Jackie. He never concentrated on sanitation, so what do you want Dick to do? I want a rate. Right, I'll see what he says. Yeah, you see. Since he owned part of the company. Tony, Tony Petty is a motherfucker. He know he can go and fix that shit for him. He ain't fixing that shit. I want to spend more time with AJ. That's the other one you should spend time with. She's almost out of the house. I'm not worried about Meadow. She don't like him. Meadow can take care of herself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why the sudden burst of fatherhood? <sighs> can you say anything without it being sarcastic? You was all up on him last episode. Right, I'm sorry. Fatherly support is absolutely linked to a boy's later capacity to manage frustrations to um, explore new circumstances and to do well in school. Kid needs to toughen up. Somebody needs to teach that kid some street smarts. And not to be a sucker. And not to be involved with the wrong people. I don't want another Christopher on my hands. It's lucky to be alive. Another poor prick they found dead. Kid was 23 or something. No, I, I want another 14 gross of the model number 4784. Just ship them. I'll worry about selling them. Red. Fuck blue. Red sells. Put it here. Put Yo, they coming in there. Just he says take uh, mess uh, three gross of the blue coolers. He'll give us a price in the red. Well, fuck that. He's never getting paid anyway. Davey, how we doing with that Bookshire Airline tickets? Want to raise a red flag with the travel agency? A sporting goods store charges airline tickets in bulk? You say it's a promotional device. When's one of these vendors going to realize I'm never going to pay him and call the cops? Well, your fucking credit runs out, Diamond Jim. Until then, get on a fucking horn and order. Unless you're ready to pay us the principal you owe us. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Snake. What's the matter? Spider. Oh, God. That's going to make his dad. So kill it. Ah, uh, you do it. Come here and kill the friggin' thing. Come here. No way. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped in the damn pool. There's a leaf, you friggin' idiot. Some man here to see you. Who? The police. Did you let them in the house? Warren. Warren, how do you say it in fucking Polish? Tony, we could have phoned. We paid you the courtesy of a visit. I want you to come down to the station to talk. To talk? About Matthew Bevilacqua. Dad? Uh, AJ, take the backboard out of the cabana. I'll be down in a couple minutes. Lawyer up. Come in one-on-one. -on -one. It's your call. Just name a time at your convenience. On your way out, do you think you could roll the garbages down the hill? Tomorrow's pickup day. Garbages. Keep this between us, all right? You know your mother gets. Did you fuck me? Did you fuck me? Take it easy. Take it easy? How about I put a bullet in that stupid fucking boss head of yours? He was spotted, Sal. So don't go pulling my taffy. You will never see the streets where you live for 50 fucking years. Did you know about this? No. If you knew Soprano was planning something and didn't tell me and didn't wear a fucking wire... I told you no. Well, there was someone else with Tony the night he shot the kid up. He said he was heavyset. A quote-unquote husky accomplice. Yeah. <laughs> What'd I fucking tell you, huh? No fucking violence. I would have burned you right now and let the judge throw away the fucking key. Don't you think it would only get me tighter with him, raise my coinage, make Tony forget all his suspicions? You're a cute prick, puss. I'll give you that. Get me Tony on tape, 
talking about this murder. So who's the witness? No <laughs> joke, Sal. Salvatore. You don't want to see my darker side. Are we going to go? Did you say you'd go? Please. All right. Procrastinate. Let me get our ducks in a row. In the meantime, keep your cool and go the speed limit. Don't give them an in. This is some bad shit here. How did this happen? Midlife crisis? You can talk to me. When I found out about Eric's car, I told Tony to give it right back. <gasps> Eric is going to college. And maybe it's better for his grades he doesn't have a car. <laughs> My brother, artist with wallpaper, the only one you trust with your Brunswick and Fields. Oh, Vic, no. Carmela Soprano. Look at Vic this Camusa. strong jaw, nice motherfucker. You. Actually, I was thinking of doing some wallpaper in the dining room. Do you motherfucker have a got a firefighter thing? head. Nice lady. Don't even think about it. She's married to Tony Soprano. Oh, God. Who her husband is doesn't matter. I respect the ring. <laughs> Especially that ring. Probably came off a dead person's finger. <laughs> Like, what the fuck did he do to his family, the dumb son David, of a bitch? Are you down there? Oh, be right up. What are you doing up there? I'm fixing a fucking light bulb, that's all. It glares off the one ball when I rack. Jesus, okay. Oh, Richie. Oh, oh Richie. she a freak for real. Oh, baby, you're the boss. Oh, you're the boss. That second oh, only to boss. putting the gun right in the... Oh, baby. Let me fuck that. Oh, it should be you. Oh, it's... Yo, she's like on some biblical... <laughs> historical bringing the downfall of empires type of shit like i hate his sister what's this what's that it should be you that's not part of it she's trying to bring the downfall of her own brother i find powerful men erotic is that another dig at me she secretly <laughs> likes tony <laughs> i gotta be loyal without that we crumble tell that to paul castellano if you don't stop that she is I'm old school, Janice. I didn't know his sister's going to be like I this. I mean, is my brother needs help. That's not what you mean by saying you should be the... My Uncle Junior still has friends. And Junior thinks the world of you. Well, I think of that jacket I gave your brother. And he spit on it. Oh, he did. He did. I could slice an ear off his head. Well, Ma, if you need something, <laughs> call, I'll bring it up. We see why Tom... <laughs> Uh, Carmela, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm gonna go downtown. Lock you into a story. And if they do have something, why the fuck ain't they talking to you? Give them time. They will. Murder and eight of racketeering. 20 to life. Not good. Not good. Oh, my fucking kids. I will fucking cut you. Just tell me. Take it easy, Tone. First off, it's not a right. Thank God. I don't thank them yet. There's a night ball witness. If I'm gonna land it, I'm going with a fucking package. I'm not gonna be like Mickey Masuko. That poor prick, he had five fucking minutes to run. He ended up in some rat-infested motel down in Elvis country. What is that? Eh, anyway, there are no Jews or Italians. I don't get it. It's starting. <laughs> You'll get it. It's fucking starting. Get back in your office, David. They're gonna know it. They're gonna jump you. I'm gonna go to jail for this. Get, get the fuck back in your fucking hole. Now. <laughs> Motherfucker just scurried off like ah. Davy, <laughs> you're doing to, a good job. Try to smooth it over. There you go, Tony. <laughs> don't worry about this witness, T. Hey, over here. Through him. Exactly. You don't even know what he said. Fuck you. I did too. What? What did he say? I understood. It means sit on this cocksucker. My husband has a disease, a serious gambling problem. I am so sorry. Thank God the store's in my name. He can't sell the business without me, or he would have gambled it all away by now. Oh, I was Look at all the... Oh, what's it, Ram Lowson? Now, I know you ordered the Pellegrino, but I want you to try this. I got such a deal on his Ram Lowson. God, that's... <laughs> that's crazy. Fix a doll. Boy. When his wife was dying, he waited on her hand and foot. Really? A widower? So young. Mm, breast cancer. I thought there was a sadness about him. And the children?